Hey guys, it's Megan Moore from TheBeautyStoop.com. Today we're using the Mira Curl to get awesome vintage waves. It's super easy, it's great for a night out, and it makes it so much faster than using a traditional curling iron. So to get started, go ahead and brush your hair out. This hair has been washed the day before, um, and this boar bristle brush is great for vintage looks because it's really good at making things shiny and smooth. We're going to start with a deep side part over one eye and that's really key to achieving a vintage look. You want that hair to drop over the forehead. And then we're going to start working from the bottom up and you want to roll the same direction as the side of the head that you're on. So if you're on your left side of your head, you want to switch your mirror curl settings so that everything is rolling to the left. So we'll work one side at a time, that way we don't have to keep switching our settings back and forth. On this lower piece for me, my hair is more resistant just because it's healthy. And so I use a little alligator clip to hold it while it cools, but other than that, it's not necessary. So we'll part it off. Um, I section it in half first and get one side out of the way, and then we'll start on the other side and work our way up. You're going to start by taking horizontal sections. Now this is really key to get this vintage look so that everything blends into a nice wave. So take a long horizontal section from your face back towards the back of your head and clip everything out of the way that's above the parting. Then you're going to use your mirror curl and you want to direct every single piece forward towards your face. So you can see here I pull it forward towards my cheekbone and I'm going to put the mirror curl in at cheekbone level and let it draw the hair in. Now my settings here are medium heat and 8 seconds which is the lowest time setting and that's key because we, we want these curls to be able to brush out and loosen up. If you want your curls to stay tighter you want to up the time that it's in there not necessarily the heat. So direct every piece forward on these lower levels I'm directing it towards my cheekbone and as I work higher I'll direct it towards the corner of my eye. Make sure that you let every curl set before you brush or pull or tug on them. So really just let it cool and leave it alone. And you can see it's a pretty tight spiral at first, but because it's only been in there for eight seconds, it's not going to stay that way when we brush. So as I'm working up higher, remember you need to work in small sections for the mirror curl, otherwise it's not gonna draw in. And it has really great settings and sensors in it, so it's not gonna get tangled, uh, it will just not twist if it knows there's too much hair in there. As I'm working up higher, I'm now working with my bangs, and so I have to place the mirror curl in higher to incorporate the bangs, but I would be doing that anyway for this vintage look. So these higher sections, direct them towards the corner of your eye, and if you're working with bangs, you're going to have to place it in higher, but that's okay. That's going to help give that really beautiful um, directive curl so it's higher towards the face and as it moves back away from the head it's going to be down lower which is really pretty. So here I am just continuing to work with these top sections. You can see that I bring every piece forward towards the corner of my eye and that's going to give that really beautiful movement right by your face. Working on the other side now it's important that you remember to switch your settings. So here you can see I'm switching to the right. So I'm on the right side of my head. I'm going to curl my mirror curl settings towards the right. Um, and make sure, again, split those sections in, in half and direct that piece towards the cheekbone and then let it draw in. Remember that the mirror curl beeps a lot. It's going to tell you what's going on. Um, so you're not going to be in the dark. You'll know exactly where you are on your timing because of the settings that mirror curl has built in. So that makes it really easy to do. So here I am on this last section um, on this side. Bring it forward right towards the cheekbone to get that really nice pop of curl right by the face and then make sure you let everything cool. Finally, you're going to brush out the curls. Now, 
Um, a boar bristle comb or brush is really great for this. A regular comb will work as well. You can see that I'm lifting it up off the scalp just to get a little bit more volume there. And you can really brush it pretty aggressively. We want it to loosen up quite a bit. And you want to form those curls into a really nice S shape pattern, specifically right around your eye. So with me, since I have bangs and I'm working with that S curl, I use little alligator clips to help form that curl as it cools. So I'll put in the first clip going backwards, and then the second clip I will push and it's going to go in forwards to really create that S wave. And then as the hair cools, it's going to help take that pattern right around my eye. And just throw a little hairspray in there too just to give it a little bit of help. This is the Big Sexy Hairspray, which is great for vintage looks because it has quite a bit of hold. Uh, but it also brushes out really well. So give it a little spray as you continue to shape those curls, work them together. This next product is one of my favorites. <laughs> as you can tell, I'm excited there. This is brand new from Pureology. It's their dry conditioner. So this is designed to go in the bottom and the ends of your hair, not the roots like dry shampoo. It refreshes and smooths and really like tones the hair back down so it can be shaped again, especially on those days that you don't wash. But for these vintage looks, it's so great because it gives a ton of shine and really helps you kind of get that beautiful finish that the vintage looks are famous for. So comb that through. Then once those uh, front pieces are, are cooled, you can brush them out and again really form that S pattern right around your eye. Um, that's key for getting this vintage look. It's really quick and easy. This took me less than 10 minutes, which is so much faster than wrapping it around a curling iron. So that's why I'm really excited about the Mirror Curl because it is you get really great results and you really don't have to be an expert with hair at all. So finish off with a little bit of hairspray and you've got a beautiful vintage look using the Babless Mirror Curl. I hope you guys liked this tutorial. I hope it helped you discover a new way to use your mirror curl. And please come over and visit me at thebeautysnoop.com for more tips, tricks, tutorials, and product reviews. Thanks guys!